What is up you guys? My name is Taxon and welcome back to the FDBSCG Things and today I'm bringing you another exciting deck profile. This will be a deck profile on the SSB Vegeta out of the starter decks that were just released. Also guys, I did post a video, the starter deck battle, SSB Vegeta versus Zeno Bardock reboot. I left a link to that in the description below, so go check that out. With that being said, guys, if you are new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you are notified every single time I upload a video. Also, go down, leave a comment. I love interacting with you guys there. With that being said, guys, I'm going to spin this around and show you guys my SSB Vegeta deck profile. All right, you guys, so here we are with the deck. Let's go over the leader really quick. Uh, he's pretty standard to most leaders. When he attacks, he draws and gets plus 5. So on this side, he's a 15k, so that's really, really good when you want to swing at unisons and things like that. Also, he's a 4 or less stand 2 uh, awakening. He also has a secondary awakening that if you have a 2 cost unison in play, you can rip yourself down to 5, stand both your energy back up, flip him over. On your backside, his auto when attacking is pretty unique. Uh, sorry about the glare, guys. Uh, so when he attacks, he's going to give your unison a double strike and draw you a card. So that's very, very good. He also has a spirit boost once per turn auto when your opponent attacks at your unison. You're going to be able to negate it. And then give your unison plus 6,000 power for the duration of the turn. Uh, so with the unisons that we run in this deck, it just negates the very first attack and then immediately makes them 21,000 power for the duration of the turn, making it harder for your opponent to uh, get over it. So, sorry about the glare when I was showing you guys that card. Uh, let's get into our unisons. We're running for Piccolo. Uh, Piccolo is pretty, pretty standard in most red decks nowadays. So what he does is he's auto. Uh, whenever your opponent activates a counter skill, you're going to be able to KO one of the 15 cost uh, like bodies on the field. Uh, not once per turn, so anytime they counter, you can just KO one of their 15k or less cards. His plus one ability is probably like the best ability about him. He's just going to keep your hand full, draw you a card. Uh, his minus two is pretty unique. You can choose the three cost in your field, choose his power, kill anything on your opponent's uh, side of the field with that power, and then you get to remove two markers, remove a card underneath it, and gain a juvenile. So... That's him. Our second unison is two Kaba. Uh, so what Kaba does is he is an auto limit one. When this card is placed into your drop area from your unison area, you get to choose one mono red leader, and it gets plus five thousand power for the duration of the turn. So your leader will be a twenty k. Uh, so defensively, if your opponent gets rid of this card, you're going to go ahead and just make your leader twenty k. He also has a plus one activate main. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards and unis or unisons and it gets minus 10 power for the duration of the turn. Uh, so that's pretty cool if you want to swing into your opponent's unison. You can knock their power down pretty low and just keep bombing into their uni. Uh, next, if, uh, if your opponent's life is at three or more when this uh, when your mono red saying leader card is attacked, you can deal one damage to your opponent. So the minus six ability is pretty cool, but it is pretty hard to get to. Um, so next up... Paired with the unison, we got three Yamchas. Uh, not too much to say about this guy. What he's going to do, he's a counterplay. Uh, most of the time, you're going to counter something on a second window and just choose the card and another card and minus it by 15. Uh, so our negate lineup will be two of the testing the opposition, rip a life, negate, and then play a blocker. Uh, card's really good just because it really turns on our super combos because we rip ourselves down and then we're stuck at five. So if we have this in hand, we are able to rip, put a block on our field and turn our super combos on. Uh, next up, we run two Vegeta's uh, Imposing Presence. Uh, what this card does is when you negate, you get to choose the attacking card, ignoring barrier. So this is attacking card, anything, leader, unison, battle card, anything attacking, ignore it by, uh, ignore, eh, ignore its barrier. Minus it by 10, and then for the duration of the turn, your opponent cannot attack unless they choose the attacking card, and minus it by 5k. Uh, so, it's a little half floodgate that helps save you from some weenie attacks. Um, super combo of choice, not too much to say about it, right? It's bottom deck, draw two. So, getting into some of the deck now, this is what I call the U7 package. We got two of the Wii Searchers. Uh, he's going to come out for one energy. And then he's going to look at the top five for a four cost or less universe seven card, which is going to be the remainder of the universe seven stuff that I'm going to show you here. And also it searches out your unisons here, so you're able to find those. Make sure that if you see him on turn one, you can see that turn two. Um, paired up with the unison, uh, we got the spirit boost Vegeta. If you activate spirit boost, he just comes out if he's not in play. Uh, he's, a, he's also critical, so anything free really is really good. 
Uh, this guy's pretty cool. He's an activate battle for one energy. If you have two red battle cards in your combo area, you can pay one, play this guy, uh, choose something in your opponent's side of the field, minus it by 10. So that's pretty cool if you're trying to uh, survive some attacks. Searchable off Whis. Same with the Vegeta. Uh, two Beeruses. This card's lackluster. The fact that it comes in in rest mode kind of ruins the card. Uh, I try to use this. I try to use this as much as I can for one energy at the end of my opponent's like first or second turn. Um, even if I get that to happen, it's really not as effective as I want it to be. I'd rather just use the energy on uh, on a negate. So there's that guy. He might come out. I'll talk about what he might come out for later in the video. Um, we got two of this freezer. This card's very, very good. It's just for the style of the deck that I want to play. He's too costly. Um, so also a card that might come out, but he's also very good. After you combo with him, you can pay two, play him from your drop. And then once per turn, if your opponent activates a counter, uh, you get to choose one of their, uh, uh one of their battle cards, ignoring barrier minus it by 30,000. So this card is actually like really, really good. It's just, it's, it's too costly in my opinion for the style I want to play the deck. So getting into the next package, we call, well, this is the Bardock's package. We got four Fasha. A uh, great turn one play, what it's going to do, it's going to top five for another box crew, or it's going to look for the two cost unison, which is both the unisons that we play in this deck, um, because it awakens our leader. <laughs> Next up, we got two of the Borgos, he just comes out for one, draws a card, he has the same permanent that he becomes 15 if I have uh, three or more Saiyans. Uh, the double striker one, one energy, double striker dude, uh, one energy, double strike's never a bad thing. Um, next up we got four of the promos, not too much to say about this card, this card's phenomenal. It's going to minus something, uh, 4k for every red card, red, uh, Saiyan in your battle area, and then it's a 15k crit. We are on four of him. We got two of the self-awakener one that plays another Bardock's crew from your deck if you do a damage with him. So, he's, uh, he's really, really clutch. Uh, in my opinion, I really only use him to try to flood the board more, and then use him as an evolve target, because I do run two of the Bardock. Uh, he evolves over another one drop Bardock for one energy. His auto on play is he looks at the, uh, looks in the top seven of your deck, chooses the Bardock, a uh, one drop crew, like a one drop Bardock screw, put it in the drop area. And then when he swings, he plays a one drop from your drop area and then gets two cards, uh, two red battle cards plus 5,000 power. So that's very, very good to add to the pressure of the deck. One energy, two bodies is never a good, uh, never a bad idea. Uh, next up, we got two tiles. This is what I would call the free package of the deck. Um, this would be bumped up, not gonna lie. Uh, Freeze and Beerus are really expensive. This card's really free, so I'd rather just bump him up to three. Uh, so, Mercenary Tile, not that much to say about him. If you have three non-token battle cards in play, you can play him. He gains crit for the turn. Um, next up, we got two Bellmans. Uh, not too much to say about Bellmid. Pop three battle cards, play him. Um, another card that I'd probably put at three by taking one of these guys out. Next, we got the one of this guy. Basically, if you land your crit damage with the promo here, you're just going to be able to throw him on board and apply so much more pressure. Or also, it's very, very clutch. If you have it in your hand and your opponent like taps himself out or something and they're just like, sparking the gate for any what, which reason he comes out for free. Or any type of self-awakening effect on their turn, he comes out for free. So, that guy is really, really good. Uh, another one of, we got one SS4 Bardock fighting against Fate. Uh, not too much to say against this card, man. He's like six cards from your opponent's hand if you play him. Uh, if they don't have negates, that is, uh, you swing. If they don't negate, that's three cards to combo out. Three car three cards to combo equal. Or no, combo out, yeah. So, and then stand up, swing again. Total of six cards. Not too much to say about the card. The card's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, next up, one of, we got one Double Striker. Not too much to say about this card. Best game Best game win con, in my opinion. Most uh, easily to get your hands on. Uh, next up, Kai. Probably the only expensive part other than Bardock. Uh, other than the two Bardocks, I guess I should say. Uh, not much to say about this, guys. Two energy, board, unison wipe. Also, one energy, 40k. Uh, could be a two energy, 50k double. Uh, anyways, that's the deck, guys. Um... I hope you guys like it. Like I said, there will be changes to this in the future. Uh, I think this little package, maybe even this Gohan, is just too costly. That stuff might came out, come out just for some more free stuff. Like, I might add, like, things like that one free blocker, uh, Legic, Bodyguard Legic, or whatever his name is. Might add some of those, bump my numbers up on Tau and uh, Belmid just to make it more aggressive. 
but lo and behold, this is basically where I'm at with it right now, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. This is Starter Deck Vegeta. With that being said, guys, if you are new here and or if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and hitting that bell so that you are notified every single time I upload a video. And also, leave a comment. I love interacting with you guys. Tell me what you guys think about this deck. Tell me what changes you personally would make. And with that being said, guys, I will see you guys in my next video. See ya. Yeah.